I have to say, this is trash. But it's very fun to watch. Extremely fun to watch. So let's dissect that. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Whole Views. We are going to talk about a movie today called The House Next Door, Meet the Blacks 2. I just finished watching it. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Subscribe to the channel, please. Help your boy to continue growing. We've been doing great so far in 2021. Help us to continue to be great. Talking about Meet the Blacks 2, there's something that people need to know right off the bat. You know, I, I pulled it up. I was able to look at Rotten Tomatoes. They gave it a 20%. I looked at the audience score, they gave it a 50%. I was like, oh, this does not look good going in. And I must say, after watching it for myself, the whole movie, this is probably the worst movie that I've sat through in a long, long time. Yet, I was still able to enjoy a whole lot of what I saw on the screen. Not from the sense of it being good, but from the sense of it being funny. Um, if you can watch anything that Adam Sandler has put on Netflix in the last few years, you can watch this and you'll probably laugh. If you like Mike Epps, the interactions between Mike Epps and Lil Duval carry the first part of the movie. Then when you start to get into more of the story and you get more Cat Williams, like he's kind of hit or miss here. And I don't think it's Cat Williams' fault. I think it's the dialogue. There's to me, you know, just as an observer and not really a participant in the movie industry. But when I observe, I can see several things that went wrong during this movie as far as like, I hate to put things on actors, but I think about there were some bad performances and those bad performances were probably just the person on set that said, hey, that was a good take. Let's keep that. There's a few times where maybe that wasn't the best take to keep. Maybe you should have shot for something different and they didn't. Whatever. Also, as an observer, you can tell editing like there was the scene with Gary Owens in the beginning in, in his wheelchair and it's like the way that conversation went was weird and you can kind of tell that it's just the edits like the way one part of the conversation went then it went to another part of the conversation it was just weird uh editing wise and i kind of noticed just editing issues throughout the movie just things that looked off the way scenes were cut but even with all those things being said you know rough looking performances spotted direction bad clearly bad editing kind of cheesy dialogue super cheesy dialogue doesn't matter like i laughed quite a bit with this thing i did a trailer reaction for this and i'll link it one of the corners uh, but it was not marketed as a family friendly movie and it definitely was not family friendly there was a little you know a little bit of nudity a whole lot of language but going into it you know i knew this is what i was getting from mike epps and Lil Duval in them. And I'm also doing myself a disservice speaking on the film from the aspect of not seeing the first one. I did not see the original Meet the Blacks. I saw some flashbacks in this one that showed Charlie Murphy. I was like, oh, Charlie Murphy was in the first one, must be, I don't know. Um, and I think not seeing the first one kind of left me at a disadvantage because it seems like characters returned from the first one with different roles. And I guess that's what made it funny. Some of that stuff didn't hit for me. But strangely enough, bad performances, spotty editing, like I still laughed a good bit. I laughed way more than I expected to at this. And even though I can clearly see with my eyes, like, no, this is not good. This is really not good. At the same time, I would say I had fun. I had fun watching it. I didn't feel like I wasted an evening looking at this. Um, if again, if you're a fan of Mike Epps, if you like uh, his crazy interactions with Lil Duval, uh, if you're a fan of Cat Williams, like there are some moments with Cat Williams in here that were really, really funny. And it was really funny things that happened inside of a bad film. So, you know, not the biggest of deals, not to say like, oh, this is trash. I don't recommend nobody watch it. Like now nah, there's a section of people uh, that will watch this and enjoy it and I tend you know surprisingly I find myself in the number of people who enjoyed it so it's kind of like rolling the dice on this one if you don't mind watching something that you know is not great but you still want to laugh like you want to to giggle along the way for like an hour and a half this is gonna be something that you're gonna giggle at again special effects they use horrible the plot was kind of 
but it was just cool to see certain things happen uh, throughout the movie. Like Tony Todd showed up in this and I was like, wow, look what they doing to Tony Todd. Snoop Dogg shows up in the very beginning. Matt Barnes shows up in it. There were just so many moments throughout this thing. <laughs> I don't know who the news anchor was that they kept going back to throughout the movie, but like even him showing up in with his weird name and all the little bits that he had, like that stuff was just, it, it will make you laugh if you, if you sit there and look at it. So that's kind of where I fall on this one. No, not a great film at all. Did you have fun? Yes, yes I did. I did enjoy sitting there and watching this. I don't think I would have liked it as much if we watched it in a crowd because the, the bad parts would have outshined uh, the fun in this but sitting at home looking at it on the iPad. I was like, yeah I'm laughing and when I didn't expect to I'm, I'm enjoying it even though it's clearly not good So I, I really don't feel like you can ask for much more in a, a comedy though You know if, if you're going into a comedy the best gauge is did you laugh? Did you have fun? And I did so I don't really want to put a score on it, but that's all I have for it. I laughed. I enjoyed myself. Maybe you will enjoy yourself too if you like an R-rated, uh, Mike Epps-driven comedy. So that's about all I can say. Uh, enjoy yourself. Guard your heart. Come back and check out more videos.